Hi, Kelly Wilkins here. I'm gonna show you how to make a bedroll. It's gonna be comfy, keep you warm, you're not gonna wriggle out of it. And easy as it will, it's just using blankets and a sheet that you already have. So as many blankets as you like, we're going to use three or four today. And I'll show you how to fold them up. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I've got under here a picnic blanket, all right? And the picnic blanket has a good waterproofing on that side. Um, it's nice and soft. And then I've got a self-inflatable mattress. Okay, so on top of my self-inflatable mattress, I'm putting down my first layer of blanket and I'm just putting it, making it the width of the mattress itself. And then I'm gonna get my next blanket layer down over the top. Now, if I'm a shorter person, I might, or for a child, I might do it short ways. But for an adult, I'm going to layer it long ways. So just overlapping by one third, or the width of the actual mattress underneath. Okay, so that's the next layer. Again, the next layer is gonna go on. And then I've got, these are all thin blankets. You might have some thick blankets at home that you can use. So you might need as many layers. I'm just showing you how to fold them up. And then I've got a sheet. So this is like a, a, a cotton flannel sheet and that's my biggest piece. And that's gonna go on last and just folding over by one third again. Or, because it's so large, I might just spread it out over the entire entire length and then fold it back by one third. So that's the first fold that's gonna go over by a third and then the next fold coming over by that third. Just gotta balance that up in the middle. Okay, so now there's a third in there. All right, okay. Then I'm gonna start folding back over the blankets as I've laid them down. So that's the first one to go over. The second one comes over. After that second one, I'm gonna bring up the feet. So fold the feet, the length of it in there. That way your feet won't fall out in the bed. Bring that next layer back over. And the first blanket that I put down comes over there. And then just to keep it waterproof, I'm going to layer back the picnic blanket as the last layer to keep it waterproofing. Now I'm gonna ask my assistant to come and get in it. Okay, climb into the bed. on in. Okay, now this inflatable mattress does have a built-in um, pillow in it to make it all the more comfy, um, but you'll have to just not have a pillow at the moment. <laughs> now, what I would put over the top of that to really insulate that and uh, so is the Bibi blanket. Now the Bibi blanket is really a mylar bag, um, or it's a bit tougher than our foil. Uh, it comes like this, folded up nice and tight. And it is a blanket in itself, or a sleeping bag in itself because it's sewn down the sides. And we could put the whole of our sleeping arrangement inside of this. I wouldn't do it before you go camping, I would do it if necessary when you are set up and it's a very cold night and you wanted to um, stay very, very warm. You could then wrap that in a tarp itself and then you could tie that into a bedroll and I'll show you how to actually tie that bedroll. 
I've put in videos before, a really great knots for actually tying your bedroll. Okay, so there's an opening there. And then I would just have her slip right inside. Now, you would keep the mattress together with your bed when you put it in, because otherwise you'll lose your body heat out of the bottom of the mattress. So making sure all of that goes in together. Oh yes, better get out. Okay, sliding, sliding right now, but all right. So that's a really good way to make a sleeping bag without having a sleeping bag. Uh, and you can take that anywhere um, and indoors, outdoors, um, next, at your next sleepover. You know, if you forget your sleeping bag, you've got an easy way to make a sleeping bag. Presto, thanks for watching. She's gone to sleep.